In today's video, we're gonna show you how to rebuild a Simpson pressure washer pump, specifically pump model 52004 and 52006. To start off with, we're gonna show you how to replace the garden hose inlet fitting in the event that it breaks, or the high pressure outlet fitting in the event that it breaks or it strips out. On this particular model, we've got the luxury of being able to take off the handle to get it out of our way. So let's start by doing that. Now the first part we're gonna try and replace is going to be the high pressure outlet. Here's our replacement part, part number 1002.2745. And to remove this part, we're gonna need an Allen wrench, eight millimeter, that's gonna fit on the inside. We're going to use our ratchet. You can see that part comes out fairly easy. Going to open up the new one. You wanna make sure that you don't have a bunch of calcium or lime deposits. If you have a bunch of that in there, just try and clean that up ahead of time. Then this should screw in fairly easy. You've got the O-ring seal. No Teflon tape is needed. You should never need Teflon tape on this part as well when you're hooking up your high pressure hose because your hose should have a gasket internally. Now we're gonna put this back in here. We're gonna snug that up. And once we bottom out, we're done. We don't have to reef on this or over tighten it. The O-ring gives us our seal. Now, next we're gonna replace the garden hose inlet fitting. Part number 1002. 0671. Now first off, what we're going to want to do is remove our garden hose inlet filter. That's going to give us access to another Allen wrench fitting. This one is 10 millimeter. As you can see, this is fairly straightforward and easy. Not a complicated task. I'm pretty sure all of you can do this at home. It's got the same kind of O-ring fitting. When it tightens up, make sure you've got any debris that's in there cleaned away. You don't want any debris getting inside the pump where your garden hose water is going in. Any debris in the pump can cause problems and damage to the internal parts. Now, here's your new part. We're gonna start it off by hand. I'm gonna put my tool on there. Once we bottom out, that's all we gotta do. I'm gonna take our garden hose fitting, place it in there, and we're done with that part. 